Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Special guest in the building today. The creator of Catfish. Creator of Catfish. It goes by the name of Neef. Did I say that right? Yeah. Neef. Yeah. I liked it with an F, though. Neef. <laughs> Neef. <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. I got it from Charlamagne. I was about to say Neef. <laughs> you ain't never heard me say no Neef. Neef is a rapper from Philadelphia. And you know oh, Charlamagne really? can't pronounce things. Oh, yeah. Charlamagne can't <laughs> pronounce nothing. <laughs> now, you are the creator of Catfish, right? That's you could right say title. that. I, okay. Although, I, I like to joke that Catfish created me. Right. Because you, you indeed got catfished. That's right. You turned a, a negative into a positive. You could say that, or you're going straight for the inspirational stuff. <laughs> this guy, God is great. This guy, he goes to sleep, he, he wakes up, inspirational. So you even coined the term catfish? That's right. And so does that mean anytime somebody uses it, it's trademarked? <laughs> yeah, in fact, I'm keeping tabs right now. You wow. guys have already said it three times. So how so. much do we owe? <laughs> uh, just you have to promote it, that's all. And you're doing a good job of that, so we're, we're even, we're square. No, is it really trademarked, though? Uh, no, I don't think. I'll no, I don't. It. I don't know that you can do that. I mean, I can. You know, you can't. Thing. You can't use catfish in regards to a show about online relationships, mm -hmm. obviously. Oh. But it's a word now. It's in the dictionary, so anyone can use it. I mean, and catfish, I guess, always existed. It's not like right. In <laughs> fact, yeah. I mean, it's not in like fact. we invented a new word. We just we added a definition to the dictionary. But that's what that's what rappers do. I mean, rappers do like whoa, whoa has always been a word, but right. now it means homies. Oh, really? Yes. Instead of sorrow and depression. Oh, oh, wow. Not So not like the exclamation, whoa. But no, like the like, word whoa no, as in sorrow. Yeah, so, yo, no, it means whoa as in homies. Like, right. you, you my whoa. Wow. Are these my woes? Okay. But, but it's yes. short for woody, of course, right? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> 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 now, how did, why did you use the catfish in terms of being catfished online? Well, that was because uh, we heard a story when we were making the documentary Catfish about fishermen taking uh, cod from one coast to another, and, well, I guess it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, it was the uh, <laughs> from Alaska to China. And over the course of the weeks in these giant sort of um, containers under these ships, the cod would get lazy, okay. and so their muscles would soften and they would become less tasty. Mm -hmm. And so some fishermen was like, well, let's figure out a way to fix this, so why don't we put some catfish in the tanks with the cod, and the catfish will chase the cod, Keep them moving, keep them fresh. Keep them fit. And in life, there are people who do that. There are people who kind of keep us guessing and, mm -hmm. you know, keep nipping at our fins. And, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but without them, life would be a little or a lot less interesting. Wow. Now, now what's this I heard about you being in a relationship with a dolphin? Speaking of all this fish. A relationship. Oh, really? You guys, you want to talk about that? You took a picture cool. with a dolphin? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, so I, I went to a, uh, a really cool um, facility where they study and train dolphins. And yeah, really I. Really fish, Neef. I, yeah, and that's funny. I guess I am. Into, <laughs> although, you know, dolphins are mammals. They're not oh. fish. Okay, so they're like us, just underwater. Exactly. Got you. That's exactly right. In fact, they're they're very, very smart. I mean, I know everyone sort of knows that, but I was amazed to learn just how smart they are. So why are people mad at you for taking a picture with one? Well, you know, I, because I understand and I, I agree to a large extent that, you know, no animal should be in captivity. Um, however, I just feel like certain people do really good things with animals and some people do bad things. This is a place that does, you know, really great work with dolphins and educating people about them like myself so that now I can go and be an advocate on behalf of dolphins everywhere. I mean, as long as you're not sticking your penis in the dolphin's hole, you That's something fine. people do, you know. No. No. No, 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 that's, it's <laughs> that true. Do right. Dolphins are one of the only other few mammals that have sex for pleasure. Really? That's a known fact. So you and had sex with a dolphin? I did not have, I want to make it very clear. <laughs> I did really? not have sex with a dolphin. Um, no, but there there is a strange community of people that do engage in sexual activity with dolphins. Really? And yes. You studied this? I did not study this. <laughs> I've just heard about it, um, and I think it, it was even rumored that pirates and seamen back in the day, when they spent months semen. and months, That's what well, semen. right, right, That's semen. The term semen but, came from. you know, spending yes. months and months out on the open seas, if they came across a dolphin, because it was mostly men on board, you know, that that was the closest they, I guess they could get to. Some poom 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 is that poom, the poom, term? Yeah. 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 Seems well, no, technically that's not poom poom because poom. Well, yeah. yeah right. It's, it's dolphin poom. <laughs> you hanging around Charlemagne too well, much. I guess I that would tell you, by the way, that would smell fishy no matter what you do. So you think yeah. you think animals even know they're in captivity though, like with dolphins? Because I mean, they get to be in the water and you know. I mean, it's a good Can question. Can we talk about catfish now? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sure. no more cat dolphins. Goodness gracious! Yeah. Enough about sex with dolphins. Okay, catfish real. Yeah, man. I mean, you 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 don't have to ask me. Charlemagne will he tell lies you all the time. We rather yeah. that's you. true. No, don't believe me because I work for MTV, so they think I'm lying. But I, catfish is I think uh, yeah, no, I, real. Three hundred and sixty percent. What is that? What is three hundred and sixty percent? Three hundred and sixty percent. 
It's a large percentage of realness. <laughs> Isn't it 380 degrees? No, it's no, 360. 360. 360. Sorry, yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> um, no, you know what's interesting? I mean, look, everybody's, you see things on TV and you mm -hmm. assume that there's production behind it and that people are told what to do and things are reshot. And, and that's because in many cases, it's the way it is. I mean, people aren't necessarily always as interesting as, as we make them look on television. Um, but, but what's great about my show and what I think makes it different and certainly more valuable as a kind of cultural conversation is that we're not making this stuff up. Mm -hmm. People are doing these things, they're living these lives, they're, they're getting involved in these crazy situations and we're just turning cameras on and seeing you know, what happens when we bring these people together finally. It happened to you, right? Yeah, and it happened to me. So what happened? What was your story? How did you get catfished? My story was that um, I was living in New York, I was taking a lot of photographs of dance and I got a message from a little eight-year-old girl who said she saw my pictures on my website and was learning how to paint and was curious if she could use my photos as the subject of her little watercolor paintings. So I thought that was adorable. Harmless. Right? Yeah, really sweet. So, and, and then immediately I got a- to the eight-year-old Well, wait, girl. so I got a message from the eight-year-old girl. <laughs> no, I know. And, and, and I replied- like cookies? Yeah. Hurry up, Tiger. And, and, then, <laughs> and then her mom emailed me, and I was like, okay, cool. So her mom knows that she's, she contact. reached out to me. Oh, right. Contact like with an eight-year-old girl, I don't know. Right, no, agree. So right away, it was very, you know, so it was uh, kosher. You notice and, how Tiger met Kylie Jenner, just like this. Tiger? Yes, the rapper. Oh man, I'm way behind. I just assumed you meant Tiger Woods. No, Tiger the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Anyway, so we start corresponding, and then we you know months go by, and I'm talking to this now eight year old girl. I'm talking to her mom. I'm talking to the babysitter. Everyone's friending me on Facebook, and eventually I meet her older sister, uh, Megan, who was 19 at the time. I was 23. You didn't meet her though. Well, no, right? That's right. So we became warm. Facebook friends, all digital. They lived really, really far north in Michigan, like on the border of Canada, basically. Mm -hmm. And we start chatting and talking and texting, and that turns into phone calls. And before I know it, after like four or five months, I'm having this very kind of flirtatious phone sex. Well, not Whoa. phone sex in the traditional <laughs> this sense. Not the eight year old either. This is the mom. This is this, this oh, is no no no. This is the middle no the yeah the okay. middle sister. Gotcha. Um, we you know we're we're talking about things not you know moaning and groaning but okay. we're no masturbation on the phone. No no okay. definitely like, not. How big is your penis? You like oh just bigger. No, but we, we we weren't talking specifically about my penis. Okay. But we are now. Um, <laughs> so if you want to ask any questions, I'm happy to answer them. But uh, no, we were we were sending each other some pictures. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sending like cell phone pics, but I had a friend who had taken photos of me like artistic sort of. Nude portraits. What you, what? you said hey, wait, wait. nude portraits? Yeah. Well, no. You yeah. were sending d pics, Neve. It wasn't a d d pic. Artsy. <laughs> it was artsy an artsy d d pic. Okay. You had like a rose in your mouth, like just <laughs> exactly. <out> Seinfeld. <laughs> exactly. You know, there was, was shadows and light, and you know, okay. I think there may have been some artistic nude pics. Yeah. In fact, and you guys will get a kick out of this, and I, it's a, it's a it's pretty embarrassing and funny. But in one photo, I was actually um, covering. I, no, no, no. I was covering my. Uh, crotch region with a stuffed like deer head like a <laughs> like no, with antlers Peter and everything like yeah well right yeah stag okay yeah exactly um, all right anyway so so finally after nine months total of me talking to all these people i was like okay we need to go meet this girl because i'm kind of about to fall in love with her i want to maybe see if there's something real here right. um you know the whole family right pictures. right right and so we went to michigan we, we we sort of showed up surprised them and instead of finding 14 different people whom I had been talking to and g-chatting with and emailing and texting it was turned out to just be this one woman she was I think like 39 or 40 uh, married with with three kids mm. and had a lot of free time on her hands right. cool. and was sort of trapped in her small town in Michigan and had dreams of being an artist and moving to New York and so she lived sort of this this life out How did, she gave you her address she, yeah, because we were sending things to each other too. Like she would send me paintings oh, as wow. the little girl, and then I would send her wow. like a birthday gift and what thank you note, like things like that. You she know, I expect you to pop up being extreme. No, she father. never right because she right. really yeah. lived like in the sticks. Like, right. and you must have had nothing to do to be communicating with fourteen different people. <laughs> I was well. I had free time. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I was also um, you know searching, for soul searching. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Thank God, thank God for catfish. Yeah, I mean, look, really, uh, you know, it so was. You met her. It, it, I, so I met her. It was very interesting and emotional, and rather than getting upset and, you know, sort of, I guess, what would be the right term for that, like, uh, blowing up. someone up or, yeah, I don't know, yeah, spot. right, blowing up yeah. her spot, um, I listened to what she had to say, I, we, we were very compassionate, she had an interesting story, she turns out she married her husband who had two very, very sick, uh, mentally handicapped 
twin sons who weren't expected to live this long, but now they're in their teenage, they're teenagers and she takes care of them full time. So she had to give up her career and she just has this incredible story. So we put it on into a film and, and the film came out and people saw it. And then I started getting emails from other people who were getting crazy stories like mine. And that's how we got here. And then you hollered at the OG Bob Pittman one time? That's right. And what happened? Well, I don't know how. How does Bob Pittman come into this? Didn't he help you get the show on TV? Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. It was. It was. Was it? Yeah. It was. How did you meet Bob Pittman? Well, so my my parents know Bob Pittman from New York, uh, mm -hmm. from some social sort of circles, I guess. Scene. Well, you didn't grow up in Harlem. Then, if they, in that <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, <laughs> and uh, and then when we had the, a, a rough cut of the film, we were trying to get it to other filmmakers to find producers, mm -hmm. and the Pittmans put us in touch with the Jareckis. Who are friends of theirs, and Andrew Jarecki, uh, along with his friend Mark Smerling, made a great documentary called Capturing the Freedmans, um, which you should all see. Is that a slave movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. No, it's not. Um, and so when they saw the rough cut, they were like, wow, we, we love this. We want to work with you guys. Wow. Now, one thing I noticed, you know, doing the show is you really care about these people that are being catfished. And why? <clears throat> the people who are being catfished? Yeah. I think I care about both sides equally. Well, he was in the yeah, middle. Yeah. He understands. Right. It he, was, he cares yeah. about the people that are being catfish, but he also cares about the people that are doing the catfish. He cares about yeah. people. I guess I do care <laughs> about people. I mean, I'm very interested in people. Mm -hmm. I, I've I'm fascinated by just the decisions we make, the mistakes we make, and how we turn those decisions and mistakes into something good. People getting catfish is fascinating. Like Manti Teo, we were fascinated by that story. They took y'all show to another level. Yeah, that, that was crazy. Scenario. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. Cause you're like in real life, this is not somebody that you would think has a problem meeting women, and you know, then next thing you know, he's doing all this stuff. He has his fake girlfriend, a whole fake right. Well, that's that's the thing. I think a lot of people have secrets, mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily bad secrets, but we have issues we deal with that we don't want people to know about. And so I don't. I'm not, not going to speak to Manti Teo, but I know that on the show a lot, people oftentimes are questioning their sexuality. They're not sure how to deal with their feelings and mm -hmm. so they go online because it's this sort of safe place to try things out and to meet people and pretend you're something else or talk in a way you wouldn't talk in real life and that ends up being what sadly causes a lot of uh, relationships to get off on the wrong foot mm -hmm. and you know also like, keeps me it has employed. to be a lot harder now with people that can video chat and you know skype you yeah, how are you still getting catfished because yeah, yeah, yeah. now it seems like with the exposure of all this happening People will be like, okay, I'm not trying to get catfished. I need you to get on, you know, iChat right now. Get on the video chat. Let's talk because I don't believe this. I agree. I, mm -hmm. I have nothing to say in disagreement with you. It should, it should not be happening anymore. Right. But amazingly, people are so, I guess, lonely and desperate that they're willing, even now with all the technology we have, to engage in a relationship for an extended period of time with someone without proof that right. they are that person. Like, prove that you're Bow Wow. Like, right. <laughs> now, in reference to Catherine yeah. being real, y'all were with me in Milwaukee when we met Miracle in the club. That's right. And we was there for the V100.7 mm -hmm. anniversary party, and she had my face on a T-shirt. Right. You can't script that kind of that thing. Was, that was crazy. You know, I yeah, never really got into Catfish. I've seen it, wrong. but I thought it was fake. But now I'm going to start watching <laughs> it because I always thought it was fake. I was like, ah. Just, no. No. Really? No, these are real stories. You remember we met Miracle? She had my I face remember. on the shirt? Yes. Yeah, and, then, and then, crazy coincidence, he comes to co-host an episode with me, and... The person we're trying to help is Miracle. It's a miracle. Wow. Yes. It was. It was. It kind of was. Yeah. <laughs> now I saw somewhere that you said ten years ago that you were more honest. That you wish you were more honest. I. Yes, that's right. What, Why you, what, what, what did you wish you were more honest about? Uh, oh man, I mean everything. I mean, I just think you weren't the one doing the catfishing, though. No, I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's true. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, how many people can say that they're completely honest with themselves and and the people they love all the time? Nobody. Me? Nobody. No. Charlemagne, hands up. Charlemagne definitely is. Without definitely. question. Right, but I think as you get older, you become hopefully more and more yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. I think that you're lying if you think that you're honest all the time about everything. I am. You have to be. <laughs> that's the only way. That's the, that you have to have self aware. First of all, you have to be honest with yourself in order to be honest with other people. You have to have that self awareness. I agree, and I think, I, and I don't know. I you're probably I would like to believe you that you are completely honest, but I can tell that what makes you charming and successful is your ability to just say you know things how yeah, they are. Call him ch uh, charming again, please. Oh, I won't. I'm sorry. Very he, charming. He, he likes to get to his head. Charming. I won't bring it, but, but I know that's not true. You know, my I've, father used to always tell me. My father used to say that if you're lying, you think you're lying to other people, but you're really lying to yourself. True. Right. But I think it's I, it's definitely true that the more honest someone is, the more interesting and sort of captivating they are. I mean, right. it, we all 
wish we could just tell the truth all the time and say how we feel. And when you see someone who's doing that, it's intoxicating. It's like, wow. I, I... But then there would be no catfish. Exactly. If people were more honest, there would I'm be willing to. Yet. I'm willing to give up my hit television series in exchange for honesty you know, in the world. Mm-hmm. If that's the trade, I'm happy to make it. Now, speaking of trade, uh, you and Max, I'm asking this for the people because okay. I know, yes, I that's know right. what it is. You and Max aren't lovers. That's right. <laughs> so. No, no. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> Is it more it's, you know, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. People really think that. Like, I had a, I took an Uber yesterday, and and the guy <laughs> was your boyfriend. Well, no, and well, first of all, everyone just always asks me, "Where's Max?" Like, somehow I should just we are attached at the hip. They do that to me about this guy. Over oh there. yeah, they, yeah. yeah like, where's your friend? Where's your friend? Sleep right. Together. They think, That's because oh. they sleep on the mattress together in the corner. I've yeah, never heard one that. Time, Is there a nap one time pad I had over there? With a girl on his mattress, it was nothing. Over there in the corner? In the room back there. Oh, okay. But the mattress is gone now because there was blood all over it. He left blood story. on it. Yeah, wow. blood, blood on my Who's, hand mattress. And who, they didn't tell me. So when I put my hopefully it's in not it, Charlemagne's somebody blood. Somebody left coffee on my mattress. And oh, he was my and goodness. And he tasted it. He was like, I did not taste it. I did not so taste technically, it. the period blood catfished Envy. He thought it was coffee. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> catfished me. Wow. But you were in the Uber. Anyway, so I'm in the Uber, and this guy was from, uh, I think, Guatemala or Ecuador. I can't remember. And, um, He's got his own like web streaming thing, and he's uh, he thinks he's a celebrity. He's a sweet guy, um, and he's asked me lots of questions about production. And then and he's like, "Oh yeah, and you know, uh, a lot of people think you and your your friend are are gay. Mm-hmm. Do you want to you know answer? Yeah, do you want to clear that up?" And I was like, "Why do you, why, why, why do people think? Yeah, no, well, no. He so after to know because we got out of the cab and he turned, you got he got his camera out and he like did a little on the street no. interview with me. I know, yeah, um, but it's amazing to me. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you see two guys friendly with each other mm-hmm. people just love to to gossip right. it's like oh man they're they they're friends they must they must be gay you guys kiss it, though right we've never kissed no, and then on the <laughs> mouth never on the mouth that's the rule i can kiss me anywhere else it's always y'all in one hotel room with no double beds we don't right. share a room i know they don't they don't we share did room. season one i think maybe once or twice which is probably why the rumor started have you ever cried during an episode of catfish during filming no Nothing ever I, touched you enough that you felt like teary. I mean, I've been very emotional. Mm-hmm. What do you think was the most emotional one for you? Um, you threw that guy's phone in the river. Well, that was right. That was very impulsive, and I got like heated. Right. But I think maybe the most emotional, actually, really recently, we we met a girl. This episode hasn't aired yet. We just filmed it, but um, who was so sort of manic and intense and like a, like a Frankenstein creation if you were to try if you were to take miley cyrus um tmz and let's see something else like world star i was gonna say world star but she's not she doesn't have any like (laughs) ghetto she's not ghetto Miles Harris, TMZ, and basically have a love child is she (laughs) yes anyway this is a girl that's like created her entire personality and energy based on getting attention Mm -hmm. and she's so disconnected from her feelings yeah and kardashians exactly perfect um she doesn't she doesn't think she can feel anything she just wants attention and she'll do whatever she has to do to get it Mm -hmm. and she just she thinks she's an expert at the internet and she's addicted to the internet and that's and that her whole life is like likes on facebook and and matching with hot guys on tinder like that's what that's all that matters to her well right except they they i think most people still have like a a balance they have some understanding that that's not real life that's my Social media. That's recreation. Right. And they still have interests and pursuits outside of that. This girl is like 100% that's all that matters in the world. Um, And so I was really fascinated and also kind of saddened and just got really involved with with her. I was just so curious to try and get inside of her her head. So, I mean, and then, uh, you know, there are other times like with uh, that Antoine and episode with um that guy in cincinnati with the long hair Mm -hmm. yes remember him and and his cousin carmen (laughs) and she was really mean and proud that she had catfished her cousin for three years and broken his heart and i was just really they cut i had to cut a lot out of that you know the guy you're sitting next to is actually catfishing somebody right now he He keeps talking about this he keeps he keeps saying it's happening yep me and wax are definitely catfishing uh a friend of ours you are yep I didn't know this. And yeah. he's very disappointed because the girl hasn't responded to him in a long time. Does so. he keep reaching out? Does he yeah, keep, he keeps reaching out. He keeps out. reaching yeah. out. So we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're about to? to get it back. Well, he can't say because then... Yeah. then That's the not nice. Be up. You should film it. Maybe. He might fight you. That's not very honest Maybe. of you, Charlotte. Do you ever worry about that, though? Somebody fighting you? Or, like, remember uh, the cheaters? dude cheaters got stabbed? I, I know. I, they well, said that it was fake. Really? Yeah, they said the cheaters was fake. I don't know, but that's... I don't know. Yeah. I'm not worried. 
clearly yeah. from from my. And you just ran up in that right. uh, black guy's house in yeah. Milwaukee. Well, you guys have security, I'm Ricky. sure. We have a security guard with us. Which okay. I didn't see, by the way. I don't see it either. <laughs> okay. I was like, when, when did that happen? <laughs> no, I know. And they're always, I always say like, hey, if they're in the car down the street and something happens, it's not going to do us any good. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. by the time it's over. We'll <laughs> right. By the time they get over here, there won't be anything left to secure. New personality is catfish, by the way. We when we was in Milwaukee, we was in the club. <laughs> there was money Charlemagne, dancing. wait, you got, yeah, you got to set it up. You took me to a club. We because you know Milwaukee. What's, I've never been there what's before. The name of the club we go to. You don't remember? I don't know. Where don't Reggie and all them take yeah, us? Yeah, I, don't I don't remember. remember. But it's just a it's got a club. number in it, right? Or does it got a number? Set sixty something seven. Set 50, I don't know. Seven. Shout out to Heathen <laughs> and all of them. Right. Uh, Need was in there. Mm-hmm. Money dancing on stage. That's good. I and can see white that. In a white T-shirt. Yeah, why, yeah why that's is that true. Rolled character? up sleeves. And all the girls was like, oh, he got a tramp stamp. That's you also true. Stamp? That's that's the greatest catfish of all. <laughs> well, I'm, sec- new- I'm secretly a trashy white <laughs> girl from Florida. <laughs> a college white girl from Florida. So you uh, have a new project that you're working eight on. Eight Club is the name of it. Eight Club. Eight, eight Club? club. That's what I have, I have a lot of new projects. Yeah, one of them. Truce. And, well, right. So we, we did a special with MTV called Truce, mm-hmm. uh, hoping that um, we get to make more of those because... I really want to sort of dive into bigger issues facing young people in America right now, uh, like violence and politics and things like that. So hopefully you're going to do more of that. Uh, but I'm also, because of Charlemagne, I got a podcast now. Mm-hmm. Uh, that yes. week we spent together, you inspired me to sort of start my own little radio show. In real life? That's right. It's called IRL. It's actually, yeah, it's just called IRL. IRL. Um, but it stands for In Real Life. And... It's been airing every Thursday. Uh, I've been talking a lot of catfish on there, and soon I'm going to be transitioning into just sort of more casual conversation like this. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, people should check it out. They can find it where? They can find it on iHeart okay. or SoundCloud or iTunes, you know, wherever podcasts live. So would you say that getting catfish is one of the best things that ever happened to you? Without a doubt. Yeah. And that's why I think part of my message, if people ask me my message, my outgoing message on my cell phone includes... Um, Advice in line of like, don't worry about screwing up or like getting taken or making mistakes because sometimes that's the stuff mm-hmm. that the best things come from. Right. Like the like, even though I was naive and I was sort of foolish and I got duped and it was embarrassing. Like, if you if you're ready to make something good out of it, it could be the thing that changes your life. Which is why catfish are essential, mm-hmm. and and in my case, very very uh, fortunate. Now you also got catfish one time when you uh, got into a fight. That is true. <laughs> you got it you're right. No, you're right. I got fight fished or yes. something like that. Fight fish. What the hell? He, happened? he posted a picture. Of... No, no, no. I took a photo. No, I was no, at. Before, a... I'm talking about what made the story come out again. Oh, right. He took a picture right. in the elevator right. during the whole Ray Rice. That's stuff. right. Mm-hmm. And he was just basically saying domestic violence was wrong. Right. And then he got a lot of flack because. Right. I was speaking out against domestic violence, and people did some research because the post that I posted was like the most shared sort of viral post I've ever had. Uh, so it got a lot of attention and then someone did some research and saw that there was a story about how when I was in college I got into a you know quote fight with a girl mm-hmm. um, which is something I've talked about and I had actually just written about in my book so it wasn't like I was trying to hide it but unfortunately this story online you know f- as told by the one side was very incorrect or inaccurate uh, but what had happened was I was at a party in college and I was taking photos, totally sober, for my party website. Was it naked photos, like before? No, I was okay. the one taking them. Okay. And um, and I at the time was was very serious about a like, uh, sort of social evening photo website. I was going to parties and events and mm-hmm. posting them the next day. And so I was like, oh, I'll go to this big party on my school. Um, it's it's always fun and crazy. People dress up. It's like a, it's sort of you cross dress at the party because I went to a sort of weird liberal arts school. <laughs> like, what's and so you had a dress. I on. didn't dress up. No, no, no. I oh. was totally so you were cross dressing. No, I was regular dressing what school it was called it's called sarah lawrence okay it's great it's a liberal arts school wonderful i went to wesleyan oh cool wow it could be laura sarant lawrence sarah too it could be anything yeah Yeah. okay anyway so i went to this party (laughs) where everyone dresses you know in very little and or cross dresses and i just went as a spectator Mm -hmm. um and i and apparently i was taking photos of someone that maybe didn't want to and i can understand that i probably shouldn't have been taking photos of everybody. Right, I'm but, in here cross-dressing, minding my business. It's a right. society. No, I can understand that. Trust. I can understand that. But mm-hmm. I, and I, but in my head, I justified it like, no, I'm taking great photos and everyone will enjoy them. And I just thought it was it was young and dumb and I was probably being insensitive. And but the I, person was a, a butch lesbian. No, and so, and so someone wasn't happy with it. And so they 
basically just out of nowhere I get like sideswiped my camera gets pulled down my shirts getting torn off and they're like trying to take me down oh my god and I'm thinking like what what do I do? I've so got you this got person. Jumped at a crush I got dr- jumped, right? And so I turn and look, and I see a you know a sh- sort of short, stocky person with a crew cut and a button down. And I'm like, this dude's trying to mess <laughs> with me, <laughs> right? So I'm like trying to get them off and swinging at them and like you know making some contact. And uh, eventually, they actually get pulled off of me because I couldn't get them off myself. And I a few minutes later, I discovered it was a it was a it was a young lady. It was a female. Well, you got into a fight with Queen Latifah from set it off. It was Cleo, <laughs> okay. And uh, he had and, no yeah. idea. Right, I didn't know. It was dark and came at me from the side, and uh, and that's how I got catfished. That's she a pre- perfect yeah. logical reason to get into a perfect. fight. Perfect. You but said she perfect. Didn't press charges, or anything, right? She did. Oh wow. She did. Uh, she pressed charges. I I got processed, and the judge uh, didn't understand. Did you not? Say I got judge? no. It got dismissed. The, the case got dismissed. This is unbelievable. The case what? got to, oh, you can look it up, yeah. It's so unbelievable. Oh, so it got dismissed, so you weren't charged. I, well, I was charged. But you weren't, you weren't. Or I guess wasn't, I don't know what the terminology was. She pressed charges, right. but they were never. The charges got dropped. Her got charges dropped. got right. dropped, exactly. Okay. So think about Dice, So right? it's not on your record. Dice is a friend. It's not on my record, but I, I got kicked out of school. Imagine Dice with some jeans, some Tims, a t-shirt, swinging on you. In the dark. You or or, or like that little Bow Wow episode. Remember, remember. Uh, oh yeah. Deep pimping. Lambskin dildo. Right. Mm-hmm. If deep pimping came up to you at a club swinging, like you, you'd knock, you'd knock her out. Hey, who this little right. dude? Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, you know, plus seventy five pounds. Right. So you gotta gotcha. like, you gotta be concerned. Mm. I was concerned. Wow. Well, we appreciate you joining us. Yeah, catfish everyone. <laughs> you have a lot of very PM. random and interesting things that have happened to you. But no, I know. Well, that's the thing. That's and that's why my brother filmed me to begin with, because like I have a strange tendency to get into interesting and unusual situations, mm. and uh, it wasn't the first time, and it hopefully won't be the last. What made you get the tramp stamp, though? That's that's, that's not a great even story. a good. That's not even a good story. I was. It was my brother got a tattoo, uh-huh. and I was jealous and thought I want to get a tattoo, and I don't know. I just. I when I go I go big and I was like I'm just gonna get a big tattoo and this was like this, lower back. this was right <laughs> before it was right before they can look it up if they want it was it's on your lower back? it was right before that became a thing mm-hmm. like it was 13 or 14 years ago right before every college girl in Florida college had girl needs. I know I know so this was pre <laughs> camp era this was I you could say I started you the, the trip no but you, you saw it? Butt? Yeah, yeah. You see it? I know. It's, yeah. it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Sure. I call it a champ. I call it a champ stamp. It doesn't make it any better. I don't know if you want this picture because you got a hairy chest in this picture. Let me oh, I don't mind that. I mean, that's not you? I do have a very hairy chest. Oh. How can Are I you Google that? Of it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a regret. <laughs> it's, a re- it's a daily reminder that you, know you, you should think removed. things through. Wait, I'm going to get it removed. That's not it with the butterfly. No, that's not No, 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 no. It's not a butterfly. It's like it's like some kind of tribally wing thing. It's not so bad. It's just oh, like I don't know pretty, what I'm doing. Bad. It's 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 pretty bad. You should really flash the camera just one good time. Just oh look! If you Google him. Neve Tramp Stamp, it says Neve has Tramp Stamp. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It pops out. It's, it's no secret. I'm hey, look. I you gotta what own it. What does it mean? Oh, Polly D has one too. It says here. Oh yeah. Eight male celebrities with Tramp Stamp. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Tramp Stamp. He it's said. a Tramp Stamp. <laughs> what does it mean on your? Back? It doesn't mean anything. It means don't be an idiot. Think things through. We're gonna post it in the video. It's a reminder. We're gonna get it and post it in the video. All right. Well, we appreciate you for joining us again. And uh, we got a new episode tonight yeah. at uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah. And then next Wednesday is the return of the Max. The Silver Fox. So I know a lot of people are excited for that. He is back, and you do not want to miss it. Am I doing, I'm doing Chatfish that night, too, right? Chatfish. That's right. And Charlemagne yeah. will be on Chatfish with us nice. next Wednesday, too. Yeah. So you don't want to miss that either. Right after the new episode with Max, we got Charlemagne in the studio for some more fun. Yes. All right. Neve. I said it right? You said it right. There we go. We appreciate and don't worry you for joining about it. us. Uh, David Beckham has one also. Yeah, oh, well, then I'm in company. good company. That's right. Good company. My goodness. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.